Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Welcome back to the PM and the AM podcast, a comedy podcast for listeners of all ages. This show contains the kind of humor to make you laugh out loud no matter where you're listening. Each week, join us as we take a deep dive into some of the funniest questions, debates, purchasable items, news stories, and other miscellaneous topics found on the internet. I'm your host, Porter McNeely, joined by co-host Blake Bushman as we strive to bring you a half hour of humor. Blake, how's it going? I'm great, man. It's good. It's always good, you know, recording the podcast out here, escaping from my actual duties that I have. So <laughs> it's good. No, absolutely. And that was that was the first for us. We had our theme song going live off of a soundboard while we were yeah. doing we're a video podcast. And that's what I'm hearing. It's, man, we've come a long more way. More official every week. It's from from recording our first episodes in a podcast to now having a soundboard. I mean, like that's you know, I think the next step is number one on the charts. No, oh, yeah, absolutely. We shared a story this this past week of a the meme template that's going around of like Halloween costumes that are scary and stuff, and it was like a podcaster, <laughs> and it literally said recording in a closet, and that was definitely us actually recording in a closet because the clothes would make it so it was echoing less, and mm-hmm. and we had one yeah. mic, and there was like five of us in there at one point trying to have decent sound quality and it definitely didn't work out, but we have come a long no, way, no. and we're so thankful for all the morning people who have been there to support us. Uh, along that journey so shout out to you guys thanks for listening as always and this week we're going to suggest that you hop over to youtube to actually watch the show because we're going to have some shared content coming up Um, like we mentioned last week we are going to be having a bracket of our best childhood halloween costumes which i'm really excited for i saw one sneak peek of blake's costumes and so I i believe blake is going to be pretty excited as well I, I I am excited. You know, when I when we first talked about this, I was like, I don't really have any that like childhood Halloween costumes. And then I talked to my mom about it, and she just started like sending me stuff. And, <laughs> and you know, I I I had some more. I don't know what happened to me. I used to be a pretty cute kid, but it's, it's gone downhill since then. But I, I feel you. That's what I was thinking when I was I'm looking at mine too. I was like, see, oh, I'm uh, so ugly now. To see where we go i'm wondering if we ever had any of the same costume i have i have one that might have a little bit of overlap we'll see that's cool there's definitely gonna be one of my costumes that you hate uh and you're gonna know when when it when it happens but i'm gonna leave that for later um before we get into that like we said make sure you go over to the youtube channel to be able to watch these the video so you can follow along with our costumes if you can't feel free to continue listening on whatever platform you're on we are going to be describing them to the best of our abilities and then on instagram we will be posting the bracket with all of those pictures so you'll be able to follow along as well um but if you want to head over to pm and the am podcast on youtube um that would be great before we get into our weekly question this week, we did want to go over our last week's bracket, which was involving the biggest scams, and it was a, it was a banger, Blake. What did you think? There, I think the people really liked it. I think a lot of it, you know, people had submitted their own, and so they were passionate about the ones that they had. We did get roasted for some picks, which I thought was weird, <laughs> considering the fact that they weren't even our choices. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that people uh... didn't realize we made a change. <laughs> But no, it, yeah, I think it was good. Have we finalized that yet at the time of this recording or no? Is that still ongoing? No, so I actually just posted the finals and we have iPad tipping versus summer sales that made it all the way to the end. So we're really excited to see which Two one comes out ahead. That's, yeah. Spoiler alert, it seems like iPad tipping might just absolutely run away with it because I posted it That's and five minutes impressive. later I looked there was like eight votes for iPad tipping and one for summer sales so yeah that's can't not believe surprising. that slipped through that's... to the 12 pick but yeah no I, we talked about it like literally as you after you picked that I was like that should have gone like first or second I just totally skipped over it so no I mean iPad tipping I, I can't blame the people for voting that one through that's that's up there yeah, for sure that's definitely a good one and then we also did want to go over the toe tapping pumpkin method that Blake <laughs> gave to us last week. We made a post on social media about Blake's rotten pumpkins on his porch six weeks after Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> and I think it's it, I think it's inspired you. You know, you texted me. You said you were not going to let that happen this year. So I'm proud <laughs> of you for progress. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the real reason is I don't have any pumpkins this year. You know, we mm. just never got around to it. It's because you were smashing point- them at the pumpkin patch this year. <laughs> that was an accident. I think you need to tell the story. I think you need to tell the story. Okay, so so Porter and I and a group of friends, we went to we went on a group date, and part of it we went to this little pumpkin patch. You know, we just wandered around, took some pictures, whatever. And uh, as we were taking the pictures, we 
we picked up these pumpkins and you know we were taking pictures with them uh, i think i was pretending to be pregnant i can't i can't remember yes uh, you were is that what it was yeah <laughs> i was I, too though to be fair <laughs> yeah we were the, we were belly to belly is what it was um <laughs> Uh, they're great. We're not going to post those, probably. But, um, <laughs> no, and then after we did, we're done taking the pictures, I don't know what went on in my head. I think I just forgot how fragile life is because I, <laughs> I It's a good thing you're not pregnant. I'm just going to say that now. I, I decided to drop my pumpkin baby, <laughs> and it absolutely shattered. I didn't realize pumpkins could shatter. They can. You know, they, it, it was in about 18 different pieces by the end of it, so... Uh, yeah, they're they're more fragile than you think. <laughs> so luckily, the employees of this farm didn't see us because they were trying to nickel, us, nickel and dime us on every other part of this entire family farm experience. And, yeah. and Blake just turns to the side, whoomp, chucks the pumpkin. <laughs> it was giant loud, pumpkin. Yeah. You know, it's probably like a ten dollar pumpkin this year. Pumpkins are expensive, and it just shatters. And everyone's like, Blake, what are you doing? But we had a I, great time. Yeah, it was it was unfortunate to say the least. I didn't. I didn't realize that it would happen like that. The problem is, right after it happened, too, some random guy like whistled to his kids. I thought <laughs> I was about to get. You know, I thought I was going to be charged, and you know, I was nervous. So we left, and everything is okay. Yes. So we did have some people respond to our posts on social media asking you guys how long pumpkins that are carved can be left on your porches, and we received a wide variety of answers. We did have the honest people that said, you know, I'm probably not going to get around to it until there's black mold growing in inside of it. And then we had some people that were like, Hey, you know, two or three days after they're gone, uh, a week after they're gone, or I actually sit there and kind of watch until they're starting to go bad. So some people are following your, uh, mythology methodology there. Yeah, <laughs> and- I was, I was really proud of the people cause I thought that they were going to be a bunch of liars and I'm sorry for <laughs> doubting you people. But I, I really thought everybody was going to agree with you and say, no, first day after after October, they're out of there. But I didn't – maybe I missed somebody, but I didn't see anybody that was like, no, first no. day. There was people within like the first couple of days, which, mm. you know, that's, that's fine. But I think you stand alone on your uh, proactiveness of getting rid of pumpkins. Yeah, absolutely. No one agreed with me, so that <laughs> that did feel kind of bad. So that's why – decided for this week you know we're going to come up with a new halloween based question seeing as we are dropping this episode on halloween and this weekly question that we got submitted is what is the best and worst thing you can get as a trick-or-treater blake what do you got i i got a couple of things that i that i feel passionately about do we want to start with the best or the worst hmm because i think probably the best, because I think the worst is going to be funnier, personally. Uh, I mean, it's I definitely am more passionate about the worst. The best, yeah. honestly, is like if you go to a candy and you get a king size candy bar. It doesn't matter Ooh. what kind of candy bar it is, just king size. That's the best, no doubt. Yeah, you're going back to the true. house. You're changing costumes. You're taking off your mask, whatever it is, because you're going back and getting a second one. For so sure. That's probably the best. I mean, if you're just talking like generic kinds of candy. Probably like a Twix or a Reese's is, is what I would say. But at that point, it's just saying what's the best candy. But I mean, yeah. on Halloween, the best thing you can get is a king size candy bar for sure. Yeah, there's like no everybody in the neighborhood knows where those houses are. So the hype oh, yeah, up for track. king size candy bars <laughs> is insane, you know. And I think one of the best things you can get as well is there's sometimes, and I know this is kind of like a, a check for razor blades or, you know, check your child's candy, that whole thing is like a, a baked good. Somebody, you know, somebody's just serving up like homemade donuts or like homemade Rice Krispie treats. And, and I guess you do want to be careful with those, but yeah. for me, sometimes those were, sometimes those were really, really good. Did you ever like roll, roll up on a house that had like hot chocolate and stuff. Oh there. yeah. That's, that's exactly what I'm trying to, those. Yeah. trying to bring those, up. is like the atmosphere. Those were the best. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you, you'd come up and like every house is giving out candy and stuff, but you know, it's, it's usually a little chilly on Halloween night. You pull up to get some candy and they got like hot dogs and, and, uh, Hot chocolate. I say that because I remember distinctly as a kid going to hot house and hot they had hot dogs and hot chocolate every year. That's what they did. And, and I they were legends, it. huh? Oh, I'm yeah. sure every kid in the neighborhood was like, man, those guys are awesome. Yeah, no, I love that place. So, no, I, I forgot about that. Thank you for reminding me. Cause that's, I just thought of another one. Sure. There's, there was a guy in my first neighborhood that gave out just like uh, bags of chips, just small bags of chips. 
but it was just so different than everywhere else, and you got to pick your chip flavor. It was awesome. So it's it funny that you, that you say that because one of the things that I thought of as the worst, and there's a couple, so we'll, <laughs> no. we'll, we, can, we can talk no, about boy, it. No, boy, no. not going to destroy chips. my childhood. But you know those like Halloween bags of pretzels? Oh, I like the, the black that. and orange. I hated that. Don't oh, <laughs> get out of here with your pretzels. What? That is such nonsense and tomfoolery, okay? I don't want pretzels. Chips, I guess, are okay if you're getting like a nice bag of Cheetos or something to mix it up. Yeah. But getting a bag of pretzels as a kid was just a slap in the face. They're all broken. You get it home, it's just pretzel dust. dust. Oh, man. Yeah, that's, that's it, a good point. I hated point. those. It was terrible. I would just take those. Drop them right in the garbage. It wasn't. It wasn't worth taking home. And I think for me, the reason chips were exciting is because we probably didn't have them in the pantry, you know. But pretzels, we might have. And so I agree with you there that pretzels weren't the most exciting thing because, you know, like, I could just go and have this every day. But <laughs> a boatload of candy or chips to me was is pretty sweet. So that was definitely the difference difference there. But did you ever have the house in your neighborhood that was like super health? concentrated or potentially a dentist or, or something in that mm. regard that that was my next thing that uh, i was gonna <laughs> i, I mean, stepped so on your toes there sorry there's, there's no 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 that was an excellent segue <laughs> because listen i have toothpaste at home okay you don't need to be a snob and give me toothpaste and a toothbrush just to be like, oh, remember to brush your teeth. I get it. You're a dentist. Have a personality. <laughs> Enjoy candy. Remember to brush your teeth. You'll write it on the candy. I don't care. But just, oh, it drove me crazy. I didn't want that. I would skip the house, okay? I didn't want to go visit. If I if I saw a kid walking away and he had a thing of tooth, toothpaste in his hand, I wouldn't go. Are you kidding me? That was nonsense. That's bad for business. You know those dentists are not thinking right because if they're giving you more candy... They're turning out more yearly cavities, and exactly. then they're getting more business. So it's an it's yeah. an easy method there. And they so should be I giving think... out the sugariest, like fun dip. That's what they should have been giving out. Yeah, Just sugar mixed with sugar. That's uh, unreal. And then also the people that give out like apples. Oh, uh... because guess what? I'm gonna throw that into my bag. It is going to be ruined. By yeah, the time that's I true. <laughs> like I'm not eating that. As I'm walking around, guys, Halloween is about candy. Like, if you're gonna get creative, you know, do something like like the the hot chocolate. You know, some something to mix it up that is actually still enjoyable. And like, I get people like apples, but get out of here. But you got to make that hot chocolate and stuff like grab and go because you don't want to be number one oh, yeah, slowing the kids yeah. down from getting around the entire neighborhood so they can amass a giant amount of candy. And number two. I mean, you can't be holding like a cup of hot chocolate all night long. And so then you're going to go around the neighborhood and see all these cups everywhere. So you, you really got to plan that strategically. I was thinking like along the same lines of the dentist items being the worst items. And and then like I feel like sometimes people would give you like a, a soda, which was it, it was pretty cool. But then to put that in your bag. In your bag. That's and some then you're like weighing down just to uh. carry a, a Shasta strawberry kiwi <laughs> diet around you know you thought it was cool until you had a sip of it and realized it was disgusting <laughs> sparkling chassis little did you know they they bought like a six pack like a variety pack and all those ones were the ones that they didn't want so they just gathered them throughout the year and then yeah. by the end of the year they had 45 of them that they were giving out to kids as they came by the other thing i, I can mean, think of is quaker granola bars and one time i got quaker like breakfast granola cookies and <laughs> Very disappointing. Very disappointing. You know, you, you're like, even oh, it's a big is. item. <laughs> I'm so excited. Super disappointing. Don't give out that kind of stuff. I mean, it's probably cheaper just to give out candy. Yeah, big dentistry is going to be benefiting from it. But overall, just make the kids happy. Also, if you're a dentist, man, thank you for the work that you're doing. But just <laughs> give the kids the candy, okay? Mm -hmm. They have toothpaste at home. All yeah, right? don't play the games. Yeah, it's not funny it's anymore. <laughs> Yeah, we've we've had enough of your nonsense. So yeah, definitely stay away from your dentist supplies, but <laughs> leave the diet shastas out forever. <laughs> Just get candy, okay? If if you want to get get a little fancy, get some king size. The kids will thank you. There you go. There we go. So now we have taught you guys. It might be a little late, you know. Today is Halloween, so 
Good luck going out and getting those items day of. But we have showed you guys what is the best and worst items to give out for trick-or-treaters. And we will be right back after this short message from Anchor with a excellent listener. Well, this one's not a listener bracket. This is our bracket of our best childhood Halloween costumes. So stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss it. And we are back with the top Blake and Porter Halloween costumes of all time bracket. This is the first one that I think is really unique and individual to only us. But I think the listeners are going to like it. I hope they enjoy it. We've got some cute factor pictures coming up from our childhood. So we're not so scruffy and and faces for radio anymore. So <laughs> it's exciting. Like we said, we were a lot cuter back then. All right, don't come at us asking us what happened. We don't know. We're not happy about it either. Okay. It's true. But we are. I'm excited to to see what the people have to say about the uh, the best costumes that we had. It should be fun. Yeah. So we are going to format this one a little bit differently. We're not going to go back and forth. We are both going to choose four. Um, we both have a couple extra pictures that we're going to show as honorable mentions. But we're going to choose our top four, and then we're going to face off against each other. So like my number one seed will go against Blake's four, and Blake's number one seed will go against uh, my number four seed, and. It's not a cuteness battle. It's just a battle of the costume. So I want to I want to make that clear for everybody because I don't want to lose 100% to Baby Blake. But I mean, it's, that's a cute baby. I gotta, I gotta <laughs> <say>. <laughs> True. That's what I'm saying. So without further ado, I'm going to share my screens for our um, for our video viewers. They'll be able to actually check these costumes out. If you're listening now on a different platform, you can see this on Instagram. So with my number one overall seed, Blake, are you getting this? I am. That's awesome. I love that. Yeah, so with my number one overall seed, I am definitely taking the (laughs) lion costume that I got from Sam's Club, I believe. I remember that because it was so hype. Like We didn't really get the store-bought Halloween costumes all that often, but my mom saw this one and like she couldn't resist. I got a few more pictures of that one. There's the Lion King himself crawling around in the in the house. It was this Ooh, that's awesome, a winner. That's, that's, fuzzy, that's fluffy great. lion. You know it's a good costume when you wore it for like multiple years in a row. And so that's how this <laughs> this lion was for me. That's so I had to, that's fantastic. Wow, yeah, that was a good one. Felt like the the Lion King in that, and p- bonus points for the fact that it was warm. So the entire Halloween night that I was out trick or treating, it was doubling as a coat for me. So. <laughs> Number one, I'm That's taking lion. Kills me. That's what kills me about a lot of Halloween costumes. Is that like people will spend money and like do all these like intricate Halloween costumes for their kids, <laughs> and then throw a coat over it. Which yeah, like, I exactly. get. They, they need to be warm. I understand that. But like, just get a warmer costume. <laughs> like yeah, that, you- that lion. That's a that's great because you know built in. Yeah, every every kid just throws on their snow clothes and then yeah, covers up yeah. the entire costume that they had. That's 100% right. So built-in coat, built-in points, I would say. But yeah, that was a, that was a Porter Classic. I wore it for a few years, like I said. Moving on to the second one, we are going to go with a younger age Porter here. And we have the Firefighter edition of Porter. And this was another excellent costume. I loved it. That's a good one. That's That's great, yeah. It came with the axe. I remember hitting my sisters a few times with that axe, and also the helmet had like a retractable front was visor. It one of, was it one of those little plastic, uh, plastic axe things? I think I yeah. had that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it had like a little belt on the coat, so you could throw that in the coat, and then the visor on the fire helmet was retractable, so you could just be putting that thing up and down. Man, it was so cool. That's, I think at that I point, mean, that's, that's great. Yeah, for sure was my career goal at that point to be a firefighter. Sense has changed, but that was another really great costume. All right, let's see what I what I got next. Moving on to number three. Oh, this is a this is a legendary Porter McNeely Halloween costume. And are you this the was, pizza or the knight? I am the pizza in this picture. Okay. So <laughs> I don't remember what year this was exactly, but I uh, we had a neighbor that had made this pizza costume, and she was friends with my mom. They're good friends, and so uh, my mom asked her if I could borrow it and I was so hyped because not only was I pizza but I was supreme pizza which was my favorite flavor of pizza and so it was it was an excellent <gasps> costume 
That's funny. I love that. That's, that's good right there. I like and we that got one. bonus points in the picture for having my little brother was a knight, and so he was actually like stabbing the pizza. And I think I had that exact same sword. Oh, really? <laughs> as a kid. I'm pretty sure, yeah. yeah. That was a good... That was definitely one of my favorite costumes. I definitely had to include it there. It wasn't quite... It lost some of the cute factor for sure. I was a little bit older, so... I might yeah, a lot, so a lot of mine are that same way, so uh, we, should, <laughs> we should be all right there. Cool. So moving on, I have another Porter McNeely classic. This was a costume that I also wore like five years in a row. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got this creepy-looking basketball mask for Christmas one year, and <laughs> I decided... A basketball with eyes and a face? Like, yeah, that... <laughs> that's exactly what it was. But it was the lowest effort costume, and everybody loved it. So I would just throw that on Halloween, and I'd, I'd prob- probably did it for three or four years. Just that throw one does it on not Halloween have the night. warmness factor. That's for No, sure. no, absolutely not. Yeah, I'm sure that was one where I ended up throwing a coat on, and then yeah. I just looked like a basketball head running around. <laughs> <laughs> but it was definitely a good one. Definitely got a lot of comments. Oh, and people were actually like scared scary. of that mask compared to, you know, you see people dress up as a zombie and whatnot, and people would be like fine walking by them, but... For some reason, when people saw the basketball, I, I remember making a few kids cry as well. So bonus points for for the basketball in that regard. <laughs> All right. So these next ones are just going to be honorable mentions, but I did just want to include a few more that I thought were pretty fun. So first was the Dallas Cowboys fully uniform, probably the full Tony Romo uniform experience. I mean, that picture, you looked like you were <laughs> part of the team. That's, that's crazy. Wow. I know. It was Team captain right there. Those are exciting times. Cowboys have let me down every year <laughs> Serious since. face in that picture. Oh, <laughs> what kills me is like, this is like a, sh- like, I- I'm assuming that's a sheet that you put up to do this little photo shoot, right? Oh, I clearly didn't put I mean, it up. <laughs> okay. My mom right. did. Yeah. You- All right. Mama McNeely then. Like, yeah. she put so much effort in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for picture. sure. I hope you had that framed. That's great. Yeah. No, my, my buddy Evan was actually the... Eagles fan, and so he came over for the photo shoot, and he was uh, the Eagles, and I was the Cowboys. I didn't put the the picture of him in this, but we had a full photo shoot. There's like 20 pictures of us in our That's jerseys, great. like wow. glaring at each other, like we were about to square off. And we had the plastic football helmets. I remember ramming my head into those and probably getting a concussion, and just like laying on the grass, and seeing stars. And I'm like, wow, football's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Wow, you can hit <laughs> not realizing. Your head. Yeah, exactly. Not realizing the two inches of foam in those helmets did nothing. But, oh, man. Yeah, I maybe should have put that one in the bracket. That was a good one. I maybe should have moved that, that instead that, of That's a good one. I mean, I, I got to be honest. I, I I lost a lot of confidence after seeing some of your costumes here. These were, these were... <laughs> I know. I I didn't realize it either. I thought I always had like low-budget costumes, but now I'm starting to realize like my parents were, were coming through big time for me in the costume department. All right, let's see what we got after that. Oh, we've got a classic cowboy look. I got the sh- I got the shaps and everything though. I got Love. bandana, the holster. Oh, those go- those cap guns were so fun back in the day. The cowboy hat, the boots. That was that was a good costume as well for warmth. I would say. All right. After that one, we have ooh the pirate. This is a really young porter with the eye patch, the sword, the hat. The the I think negative. Your mom is into scrapbooking. Yeah, for sure. I got all as you can tell these pictures all came out of scrapbooks. All the older ones we didn't have backed up onto the family computer, so I had no choice. <laughs> but as you can see in this one, a lot of good accessories. The problem was it wasn't ours, so we had to give the accessories back. And so you can imagine as a four or five oh, that's, year old that's tough, yeah. That's... It was a stupid costume at that point when I had to give my <laughs> fake earring and eye patch back. I was like, this is unbelievable. A little sword too. I mean, yeah, you don't want to yeah. keep that up. Yeah, I definitely wanted to keep the sword, but yeah, I had to give that one back, so that's why that's gonna fall in the honorable mention category. And then <laughs> we can clearly see this came out of a scrapbook, but we got mini Harry I... Potter wizard going on. Okay. I wish I had a picture of myself. I don't. I have a couple extras that we'll talk about when we get to it, but I have uh-huh. a picture where I dressed up like a wizard. I'm certain. Oh, no way. Because <laughs> we had like these big robes, and I loved it. And so <laughs> hey, I know one year I did it. We oh, should have matched man. them up. But yeah, so there are a, my... A wizard off. True. There are my most legendary <laughs> Halloween costumes. I uh, can't wait to see what the, the bracket's going to look like, and I'm really excited to see what Blake has coming up for us. All right, so. yeah, let me, let me get it pulled up here. I was, I was kind of tinkering with it as I... Uh... 
But overall, yeah. I'm glad you were impressed by my costumes. Overall, I think. Oh yeah, I was very pleasantly surprised with uh, with what you brought to the table here. I feel like in my family, it was always like super last minute. Like we just pulled something together, and sometimes we got it from a store or whatever. But it, it always felt last minute. But oh boy, we got a good one right. on the screen. We got it. So here's <laughs> oh. my uh, my Soro costume. <laughs> This is awesome. <laughs> the, the story – we had a dog growing up, and I mm-hmm. honestly don't know if this was before or after, but in my head, it was like along the same timeline. And he had a little mask, like his fur. He didn't have uh-huh. to have a mask. But like the color of his fur made him look like he had a mask, and so we named him Zorro. And I think at that point is where like my obsession with Zorro came from. And so, yeah, one year I dressed up like Zorro, and I remember I went to like a piano Practice, uh, piano practice or piano recital dressed up like this. That's hype. It was great. I loved it. I'd take the little hat and I'd, and I'd throw it. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. I loved it. No, so, the hat uh, and the mask combo is like absolutely yeah. filthy. Like, that's so sweet. And the sword as well. No, and I'm, I'm sure mean, you had a, a mean mug in it right there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> the cape and everything. Like, man. <laughs> I'm sure you were beating people with that sword. You cannot convince me that you were not beating everyone. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? (laughs) I mean, I judged costumes when I was a kid based off of how I could attack people Mm. and justify it. So uh, Zorro Zorro was definitely up there. That's a a top tier. That's an awesome costume. I'm I'm jealous. (laughs) All right, my next one here. I, I saw you had your uh, I saw you had no your way. your tiger or your lion costume, so I had to pull it out with the tiger. Right. That's an awesome tiger. That's sweet. This is little know. little Blake too. I've never seen a picture it of was. Blake this small. I got, I think I have one more that's even younger than this, oh, honestly. Dang. But this is this is getting uh, getting pretty young, and so I wish I wish I had timed this or spaced this out right to where we could have a lion versus tiger matchup. Ooh, but. Uh, that's all right because this this might be a Sam's Club special. I have no clue. <laughs> you can, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure I wore this costume for like six years. <laughs> oh dang! Yeah, I see, like the thing. the thrifty Halloween see, it's, was it's very big on me. It was <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's the beauty of it. You could just roll it out <laughs> next year. My little hands up, just you know, I was I was getting ready to pounce. All right, I was, that's a, so that's an awesome I love, costume. I, I love that, that costume. That was one of my favorites. All right, and here. This one, honestly, was <laughs> I just thought the picture was. This funny. is baby Blake. Oh my god! <laughs> this, this is Whoa. this is little tiny me. And honestly, wow. this I mean, the Batman costume was just is just a classic. I felt like I needed to include it because who didn't dress up like Batman at least once? You know, it was either like Batman or Spider Man. You were one or the other, and everybody did it. You dressed and, uh, up as Batman, but you don't even remember that you dressed up as Batman no, if there wasn't no, a picture. I what I do remember is my Batman pajamas, which Ooh. is probably that. Um, but yeah, no, I remember just – I was apparently terrified of that uh, – the scarecrow on oh. here. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> that was, awesome. That was, uh, that was on my front porch, and I did not like him. So uh, yeah, that was <laughs> – This is fun. These are great That was my pictures. classic this Batman is, costume. <laughs> this is another great one right there. <laughs> All right, then to round it out. And before I switch it over to this next one, I gotta give it a, I gotta give it a warning. Oh if no! If I see, if I see this picture online that is not from this podcast, uh-huh. I, I will hunt you down. All right? oh, there will gosh. be no blackmail allowed because this is a slightly older Blake. This is oh, oh no! In fact, maybe too old of a Blake to to dress up in this <laughs> costume. Um, but in my in my household, it's a classic. And that is the evil queen. Oh, no way. <laughs> what am I looking at? It's a... Uh... Um, we got ourselves a winner right there. We almost don't even need to have the bracket. If you're just listening to this, you got to head over to Instagram and check out this picture of 14-year-old Blake wearing makeup. It's a full face of makeup, <laughs> lipstick. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you Let me show you the next picture. I think it's it. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Bro, oh it's, my! It's I had the full dress on with the cape. I mean, was... <laughs> did you have to get convinced to do this, or is this something that you here's wanted some, to do? So here's here's the story behind it. We were, I mean, no too way. old to be dressing up in a dress. Um, but a group of friends and I, and I, because I'm pretty sure I'm the evil queen from Snow White. If I, mm-hmm. if my memory is correct, I could that be Snow seems... White. I actually don't remember, but I, I feel like I remember being the queen. And then, like, I had some friends that dressed up like dwarves. Oh, I'm pretty sure. I don't. I, this is, could be totally made up in my head. Maybe they dressed up like princesses. I, 
I can't remember, but uh, yeah, that's so no blackmail allowed. But let's get into some honorable mentions here, because uh, we don't need to leave that on here anymore. This one, you know, this one more than anything is just that I dress up like a referee almost every year now because I've gotten lazy. <laughs> and uh, you still have that shirt? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I have no clue. I just remember I walked by in the store and saw these little chains, and I really wanted them, so I became a prisoner. No, that's the prisoner referee. That's excellent. Again, no black. <laughs> <no>. Okay. <laughs> this is not near. That's a pretty good nerd. Like you went all out on that nerd, but <laughs> that's a good nerd costume, right? <laughs> the Snow White one just caught me so off guard because. <laughs> You went so all out on that look. Like there was. I like... did. I mean, the full face of makeup. I mean, shout out to having only sisters. I guess um, they must have spent really some serious that. time though doing that. Like that was. Oh a no, they. Job. They absolutely oh, did. Oh, we got another firefighter as well. <laughs> yeah, I I was gonna include it, but then I saw you had a firefighter, and you know I didn't want to go head to head on the firefighter because mine didn't have a little sliding visor. Oh um, yeah. I did, I mean, however. Bonus points to me have little like ash and dirt on the face which i think was a nice Ooh. touch so yeah again you got I the think, makeup points i don't think i, I ever had that <laughs> <laughs> the makeup points are are killing it and then this is the last one i had that i that i had found oh, but that's that adorable. that was along the same lines as the uh the lion and the tiger but you know i i was a bigger fan of the tiger myself and so well yeah the fluffy the dragon I, look that I was adorable <laughs> so yeah that was our uh, that was that was a peek into my childhood there apparently I, I'm learning this right now. I was put in makeup a lot more times than I would care to admit. <laughs> and quite a bit of makeup to that point. <laughs> Full face. That was awesome. It, it I can't like wait to release blush. that was, picture. I can't wait to put really... that picture out there and just have that picture forever. That is awesome. And also <laughs> the one of the nerd. Like That That was awesome. That was a great yeah, segment. So... I'm glad we came up with this idea. And we're going to be putting putting these out on Monday, like we said, so you guys can vote on it on Halloween to get in the, the spooky spirit. And then if you guys want to send us in your most legendary Halloween costumes of all times, we would be happy to rate them. Um, but yeah. thanks for tuning in this week. We appreciate all the support we've got. As always, if you could leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or Spotify, that helps us uh, rank among the podcasts and get our uh, share our show, <laughs> I guess is a good way to put that. But thanks for tuning in this week, and we will catch you guys next week. Peace out. Congrats on making it all the way to the end. We hope you enjoyed the show. You are now officially part of the PM and the AM fan base, the morning people, and we are super pumped to have you here. Now that you're a part of the crew, please share the episode with a friend and make sure to check out the rest of our shows and social media content for more hilarious brackets, crazy questions, and an overall great time. Thanks for listening. It truly means a lot to us, and we'll catch you guys next week.